guys, welcome back. It's War Spared here coming at you today with a Clash Royale video. Today what we are going to be doing is looking at a cool new Sparky deck that I received from Clash with Ashes channel. Make sure you go check that out. Most of the information you see in my video today, I did take a lot of info from Clash with Ash and some of those top YouTubers I've been watching lately. But I want to bring the channel to this this channel because I know some of my subscribers who watch me don't always watch the YouTubers and many other people who watch them don't exactly watch my channel. So, you want to spread out the content, make sure everyone's learning as most as they can. And as you know on my channel, I try to help you guys out with as many tips as possible. Some gaming tips both for Clash Clans and Clash Royale. And I'm really excited for Brawl Stars to come out and for us to try that game. And hopefully we can get on that pretty early and get a, new, a whole new load of subscribers. So you guys can learn. I'm going to try and figure out that game as soon as possible. And if any of my subscribers would like to join, I'm not sure yet. I have not really looked into Brawl Stars that much. But once Brawl Stars comes out, if there are groups or clans like there are in the previous Supercell games, then hopefully I can create a, a clan for all my subscribers to join and people from both my Clash Royale and Clash Clans clan. So... We're going to hop right into some battles with this deck, and I'm going to show you guys the pros, cons, and how to use the different cards. So we're playing 7070 from Air Force UZ. And I believe UZ stands for Uzbe Uzbekistan. So I'm going to wait for my opponent to make the first play here. I guess I'm going to cycle skeletons in the back and start a giant push. He's going to zap my skeletons. Not a very good play there. He's down to Elixir. And we're going to see a wizard right from the back of the, the pack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a baby dragon. I'm going to tornado everything away from the giant, killing all those skeletons. But he's going to tornado as well. And I'm unfortunately going to have to play a mega minion there to get rid of that wizard, which I did not want to do. We're going to hope that giant stays in front. He will, but he's going to fireball that. And that's basically a reset there. I do believe we have the Elixir Avenge right now, however, with that Fireball at the end. So we have 8, and I'm going to cycle some Skeletons in the back again, which was... It could have been a good play, but with these Elite Barbs on the map now, <clears throat> he got a value zap there, and I'm going to have to unfortunately just eat that damage from that Elite Barbarian on my right tower. But that's right, I'm going to start a Giant in the back once again. <clears throat> and we have not touched their tower, <clears throat> and they're going to play another wizard right there in the back as they did the first time. <clears throat> and now that the zap is out of rotation, I know he's going to have to play three more cards before he can get to it, so I'm going to play a Sparky. And unfortunately, this, this skeleton army is going to eat my giant alive, but this Sparky should be able to get a shot off on the wizard, which he does. And the um, Mega Minion is going to tank for the Sparky, which is, is going to force the opponent to play another Fireball defensively. Now a minute tech, a minute and one second left. We're going to transition into overtime right now. There's the Elite Barbs. I was ready for them. Skeletons are going to go down. And I am actually going to play a Giant up here to distract one of the Elite Barbs and put a Sparky behind that. And I'm going to tornado everything over here to the tower so the Sparky gets a shot off on the wizard and hopefully the Sparky will get a shot on the tower it looks like he will not, that's rough for us so I'm going to play a Night Witch here and some Skeletons behind that Mega Minion will get a shot off our first actual hit on their opponent's tower of the match not doing too well for us, a fireball could end us any second but I'm going to place a giant right here to tank for this baby dragon we're going to attempt one final push here that fireball should Almost take out the wizard, the baby dragon will finish it off. The baby dragon's going to get rid of most of that skeleton army. Five seconds though, we're just not going to be able to pull this one out. Very tough matchup with that over level level 9 wizard. The fireball couldn't take it out. And we weren't able to get that tornado useful too much right here. But the, this deck, it, the reason this deck is so well works so well is because you may be thinking Sparky, it's, it's, it's not a good card, right? And that's what I thought for a while too, but when you look at it, most of the, uh, sp the reason why Sparky was not able to be played so often was because the Electro Wizard was in the meta, and that is the best hard counter to the Sparky I've seen. And out of many hard counters, it's the best, almost, 
except for that Bowler Electro Wizard glitch a little earlier on this year. But now, since the Night Witch came out, that is so popular, it's replacing the Electro Wizard in many decks, allowing this Sparky to be played more, not with the hard counter, and forcing the, the opponents to, to play a lot of, um, a lot of spam cards trying to distract the Sparky. So that's why it works. We weren't able to win a battle there, but we're going to hop into another one and see if we can win this one here in Hog Mountain. And we are playing Alvaro from Alchemic Elixir. I'm actually going to play a Baby Dragon as a desperate play here. Didn't have Skeletons or Mega Minion in rotation right there, and I was not ready to play a Sparky so early. But there's going to be the Sparky down right now, and I'm going to play the Mega Minion. And there's the Electro Wizard. Not good for us, but we will. The Mega Minion will take it out. And the Mega Minion should get in front here. It does, allowing the Sparky to get one hit off the tower. There we go. Already down to 1,200 hit points. See, one hit, we can completely change the game around. Almost takes the entire tower there. Two shots from a Sparky, and that's the tower's gone. I'm going to play Skeletons here as the one Elixir counter to the Hog Rider. So that's three Elixir for us. And although we just took a lot of damage, we're up three Elixir from that push. And now we're conservatively playing a giant Night Witch. Then a Tornado the Executioner over. That was a really bad tornado by us. But to allow the giant to get a shot there. And now we have the tower. But we are going to have to defend against this big counter push. So I'm going to play a Mega Minion to stop that Ice Wee Electro Wizard. And I'm going to Fireball the Executioner and the Prince. I'm going to play Skeletons to stop that Prince. He will stop, but the Executioner stays alive, getting a shot off, but not enough to get a shot off on the tower. So now, minute 23, we don't have a building, so I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Tornado the Hot Rider to the, to the King Tower, and unfortunately, somehow those Fire Spirits splashed our tower as well. Not a very good play there by me. I could have played that better, but then I'm still new with this deck. And it's gonna, this one of those decks is going to take you a little while to learn. It's not just very simple, bowler graveyard kind of deck. You're going to need to practice <clears throat> practicing defense with this Sparky as well as offense. So it's going to allow me to get a value fireball right there. And I'm going to distract that Executioner with a Night Witch because I use Skeletons to stop the Prince. And now we're going to start up a big push right here with Baby Dragon, Giant, now a Mega Minion, and I'm going to tornado everything over here to the tower. Drop a fireball in there as well. Not even take out the Executioner, which is really annoying me right now. This Executioner is getting too much of value. Keeps staying alive. I don't know how the Executioner is still alive after all these fireballs have hit him, but it's all right. So unfortunately, the Prince is not going to get us off a shot because we were going to have to use a desperate tornado right there to stop him, and we're going to go Giant here, and for the Baby Dragon, helping the Mega Minion at the bridge. So yes, the Giant is stalled on the Executioner, <clears throat> I mean, yes, the Executioner is stalled on the Giant, but we're going to Fireball him again, and again, he is not going to go down, even with that Tornado damage. So now I'll play a Mega Minion to stop the Hog Rider, and some Skeletons, and it looks like that's going to be the game right there, because unfortunately, this Executioner does not go down. Yep, there's the rocket, and we lost this battle as well. So, I mean, I did not play too well, but basically you guys can see how the deck works. Having a little trouble with these over-leveled cards down here, with these level 5 epics, but it's right, because um, that's how it's supposed to be played. I don't think I was using this Sparky enough, and I, and I was not uh, having enough synergy with the Tornado and the Baby Dragon, but... Every battle we can learn something. So if I'm going to continue using this deck, and I suggest you guys should try it out, I'm going to uh, make sure that I use that tornado a little better and try using the Sparky on defense to stop those hog rider pushes. One shot, the hog would have been gone. <coughs> so that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. This was Morris Barrett coming at you today with another Clash Royale video. I hope you guys like the new deck, and even though I did not play it well, I hope you understand what I was trying to teach you in this episode. So remember to comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. Remember to tell your friends to subscribe, too, because we are almost at the 100 subscriber iTunes giveaway. And remember to leave positive comments. 
So that's it for today, guys. Have a good day and peace out.